The Madison Metropolitan School District has laid out a timeline to go to referendum this fall. Voters would choose if the district could raise potentially tens of millions of dollars in property taxes and fund new services for kids and families. JT Siskowski has you covered on the impacts on MMSD staff. A referendum wouldn't be likely officially authorized until this summer, but the district is already making plans. It wants the money to fund millions of dollars in new services like expanding community school programs and millions more for facility upgrades. The plans for the coming budget are still preliminary, but without a referendum, the district is proposing a wage freeze for all of its staff. Depending on the size of the referendum, the district might raise wages by as much as $19 million across all of its positions. Connecting pay raises to a referendum has been poorly received by Madison Teachers Union, Madison Teachers Incorporated. The first offer is a zero is zero percent because that's a pay cut and that is not only not acceptable to us, but that's not acceptable to our kids. And we need to recognize that before it's too late. But Assistant Superintendent of Financial Services Bob Soldner says that the money needs to come from somewhere. It's a structural deficit. Um, so we don't have sufficient revenues to pay to pay the salaries that we have this year, let alone an increase on, on top of that. Even if a referendum is approved, it may not come with the raises for teachers. Current district information on a potential referendum still shows a wage freeze as a possibility. The latest timelines from the district show that any referendum would likely appear on the November ballot. Wisconsin law limits how and when school districts raise money. It leaves property tax referendums as one of the only options.